The last unit of measure in the metric system would be the units that are used for measuring mass, um, which is similar to weight, um, but different only because it does not, uh, it is not swayed by the effects of gravity. Um, but I'm going to leave it up to your science teachers to explain more about how that works. So our basic unit of measurement in um, the mass category would be the gram. And a gram weighs about as much as this little paper clip. Okay? So a small paper grip is, is the mass of a small paper clip. Um, the other two weights that we're going to see often in here are the milligram, which is a very, very tiny unit of measure, because remember, milli means one one-thousandth of a gram. So if you could take this paper clip and actually cut it up into a thousand pieces, a thousand equal pieces, one one-thousandth of that paper clip, that teeny tiny little speck on the end, is about a gram. Um, I don't really have a comparison for that, but think about medications that you take. Like when they say extra strength Tylenol is 500 milligrams of medication acetaminophen in a single um, Tylenol capsule or tablet, okay? So that milligram is a very, very, very tiny measurement. Um, used most typically to measure things like medication or vitamins. The other one that we'll see quite a bit is the kilogram. Now a kilogram is a little over two pounds. So this jar of peanut butter weighs 18 ounces, two ounces more than two pounds, and it weighs 510 grams. Since there are a thousand grams in a kilogram, it would take just a little less than two of these jars of peanut butter to be the equivalent of a kilogram. So if we're going to measure some things with these units, think about which unit is most appropriate for the following scenarios. If we're talking about a racing bike, chances are it weighs more than seven of our paper clips. Probably weighs more like 14 of our jars of peanut butter. So Miguel's racing bike is probably being weighed in kilograms. His cell phone, on the other hand, probably doesn't weigh more than a box of a hundred of these paper clips. So the cell phone would be weighed in grams. Okay. And if we're talking about the amount of salt that is in a single package of ramen noodles, yes, they're salty, but still, if there's 1,660 of them, that's probably talking about paperclip amounts, one and a half-ish paperclips worth of salt or sodium in that package of ramen noodles. So 1,660 milligrams of sodium.